Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new Let's Play with a dear friend. I bet you'll never guess who it is. It's it me. Is it's Darkness Concept. Because we're and I'm having deja and vu. Games together. I know, I'm right? We've already tried vu. to do this once. My OBS just crashed like ten minutes ago. So <laughs> this this is part D. Part D. It's actually part one. Don't get confused, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. This is a really interesting title that I remember as being Caleb's uh, idea, so I'm going to let him explain it. It's called We Were Here. It's a co-op only puzzle game. Um, requires two players. Um, different parts of the puzzle are available to each player, and you have to communicate verbally to solve the puzzles. So that seems like a neat thing for friendship. Agreed. Also, don't be confused by this title in the top right. We Were Here too. That is the sequel, and it is letting you know that it is out. So this game yeah. is only titled We Were Here. <laughs> Correct. Whoops. Are you going to set up a room for us, Mitchell? I am. I'm going to create a room. Everybody, I got to tell you a sweet story of something Mitchell did for me earlier. So it's now... It my tongue? Yep, it's now 4.20 in the morning. We were supposed to get together at 12.30 in the morning to play. And I fell asleep on my sofa because I was I was in um, a beta until midnight, but we ended up crashing the servers, like the beta servers, so the playtest had to end early. So I was like, I'm going to catch just a slight little nap on my sofa. And I like laid my phone on my chest so that when Mitchell called or texted to say he was ready, it'd wake me up. And it didn't. Mitchell coming to my house finally woke me up to make sure I wasn't dead. So Mitchell is a hero. Thank you, Mitchell. <laughs> I have seen And that's teamwork. Tonight. That is teamwork. That is. Exactly the kind of teamwork we need for We Were Here. We hope. So the name we were the here. is Bros to the Close. Bros to the Close. And the password is Butts with a Z. <clears throat> the, uh, no caps? No caps. Caps are for non-bros. <laughs> of course. Look at these bros. So I'm, I'm the librarian. And I'm the explorer. And so basically what it's going to do is I'll be actually exploring this place that we don't know anything about. Um, and then Caleb will be helping me walk through it and we'll be solving puzzles together. I'm, I'm ready excited. Enough. Game starts in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> that was a burp. <laughs> <clears throat> so while we're waiting for this they, loading screen I just had a thought Mitchell failed. Banner Saga 3 came out today I know you're a fan of that series I'm a huge fan of the first game I haven't played the second one um, but they're releasing uh, uh, like a trilogy physically for the Xbox and the Playstation Ooh, cutscene Ooh, it's snow. With footy prints. Footies from I just our have booties. A, I just have a static image, do you? Mine's moving now. I want mine to be moving. Give it a minute, babe. Explorer bros. Mine's still just a static image of footprints on snow. Oh. Oh, now there's two people standing at a doorway. Oh, and now they're zoomed, zoomed in on them. Okay. It got oh, hung. My guy's shooting a flare. <laughs> there's somebody walking up behind them. Yeah. Somebody knocked out the Explorer Bros. Mitchell, we're reaching for each other. Who is this? Hang on. Who I is this person? Is behind you. Wait for it. Uh oh. Now we're reaching for each other on my video. He's got. I never feet. saw a flare. Maybe we had different videos. Maybe yours did just get hung, though. So uh, it turns out that, yes, my cutscene did get hung for whatever reason. It also turns out that the um, primary trailer on Steam for We Were Here is the cutscene. So we're going to play that now.
There's the flare Mitchell was talking about. And there you have it, the opening cutscene uninterrupted. Now back to it. We were here. I'm in a cathedral. We are here. These people are bad at past tense and present tense. Are. We Very are true. here. Oh, currently. You know I can't. I just can't play a game with his bad grandma. Okay. So I'm in a room. It's got some candles all lit up. I'm in says, like a cathedral looking room. There's a book that says Between the Eyes. Uh, somebody has painted on the wall in red paint or blood. The answer lies. Hang on a second. I'm actually going to cut the brightness up because it's pretty dark on my recording screen. You know what? It is on mine too. And I just upped the brightness on my... Um... Uh, that's Monitor. still... I'm gonna cut it up just a little more, and then I'll watch after this video and see if it's too bright. <clears throat> I hate when they don't give you a numerical value so you can get back to the same spot. I'm gonna go about yeah. 50%. Mine had to go way higher. So Graphics mine says, up. the answer lies. It's written in blood or red paint. And then there's a door that's got like, it's like a, it's like a door, but it's got a gate in front of it, and it's all spiky looking. And here's a walkie-talkie. Push V to talk. <laughs> this is Start. Mother Condor to Baby Bird. Mother Condor to Baby Bird, do you read me? <laughs> baby Bird, reading loud and clear, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Starting in the far west corner, one moves north thrice, take one step south. Okay, so there's like instructions on the back of like a book that has like oh, runes or changed. hieroglyphs on the front. Something changed when I picked up the walkie talkie. I found a walkie talkie okay. too. <clears throat> so now I'm looking at a wall. At the top of the wall is. Well, hold on. Before you tell me about the thing that's changed, I would assume okay. that like if we weren't in Discord together, this is how we would communicate. Right, I believe so. But we're just using Discord. <laughs> yeah, and we're both Discord over. <laughs> and and both of us are using a secondary streaming PC and our mic is running to that and Discord is running off of that. So we actually don't even have mics on the computer that um the game is running on. Yeah, so Ew, I found a film projector. Appear. Okay, you were gonna tell me about something on a ceiling. <clears throat> so there are two eyes. Uh, one is green to the far left and one is blue to the far right and then there's a buttload of runes in between them that it appear to be interactable. Do you see I'm anything looking... on your side? Well, I saw something that said between the eyes. It's like written on a book. It's like open on a pedestal and then there's a poster on the wall that has eyeballs on it that are both green, uh, red, and blue with runes in between. Y you know what? I wonder if it's the answer lies because that's on my screen with yours between the eyes. Okay, what color did you say the eyes were? Uh, left is green, right is blue. Okay, there's you see one. Any, like, runes? There's there's one that matches that. Okay, I'm ready to describe the one. The the the, okay. the runes. It looks Does like it have... a it looks like a Go circle ahead. with an X and then a vertical line. So it has three complete lines. Yeah. Okay. If memory serves, it kind of looks like the Camp Kick-A-Key logo from Ernest Goes to Camp. Maybe imagining <laughs> that. 
<laughs> okay, I selected it. It is highlighted, and nothing has happened. Are there any more runes? Yeah, it looks like a, it's like an A with a penis. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that opened a door for me. It played like some "You Did It" music and opened a door. Yay! The door. Ooh, I just got behind me. I just got different music. Okay, so now I'm in a room with a bunch of a bunch more runes um, and a picture. The oh god, the picture's really weird. It's like a bird. Oh, I have with... a door that opened. Cool. There's a whole bunch of spoopy whispering. I don't like it. I'm on a high. I have it over here too. I don't like it. I'm hiding. Oh, there's like a spot so and just and just to be clear, stuff. just to be clear, we're not in the same area, just like um, parallel universes. You're not in like a, a library or a church look, looking room, are you? And the no. room with the spooky pictures is not a big domed room, is it? No, and I only have one picture. Do you have more than one? Oh yeah, I've got like thirty. Well, maybe oh, fifty. Geez. Four, okay, five, well, let's six, see if seven, any of them match nine, up ten, to each 11. other. Okay. Do they have Do they have anything beneath them? Because this has three open spots beneath it. Yes. What's beneath them? Well, I mean, I have a whole bunch of them. So you might as well tell me what your picture looks like. <clears throat> Fair. All right, so my picture is like a really weird bird. Okay. It's got the head of what appears to be a lamb... And then it has four legs. Its front two legs appear to be like normal bird legs, and its back yep. legs appear to be like bull legs. Got it. Okay. So the first rune looks like a cat with its hands up in the air. Oh, hang on. So so the rune oh, so the runes go underneath it. Yep. Well they okay. are on my screen. Gotcha. Um okay, so I have two that look kinda like what you Describe it a little more. I have a bunch that could fit that. Cat with pointy ears, stick figure cat, and it's got its arms up in the air. Like ah, at, at uh, no. 45 degree angles away from the earth. And it has no legs? Correct. Yeah, it, I picked it up and walked over here and it auto put it in there. Okay, what's the second one? Second one kind of looks like a ladybug with a cross across its back or maybe a sea turtle with um, like a display stand coming out of his butt to hold him up. <laughs> I got him. What's the third? A triangle with a um, line coming down out of the bottom of it and then two little short 45s coming out of the bottom of it that aren't as long as the line coming out of the bottom and then a horizontal line with two vertical end caps on each end. So it's basically uh, a triangle with a bunch of lines under it. I think that was it. Yep, door opened. <clears throat> All right, walking into a third room. This looks kind of like a cellar. Well, no, not like a cellar. I don't know. There's a bunch of red pipes and stairs down. And there's some water. Uh-oh, the water's rising. I found pipes in a door that I don't recall being there before. Uh-oh. I'm walking downstairs, too. I think... I think we might be timed on this one. Yep, my room is filling with water. The only thing I see is there's a sign that has the word green written on it. Uh -huh. But it's like yellow or orange. Probably more. Uh, orange, but it, it says green, but it's colored like. Well, hold orange. on, I've got I've got three valves: one that's orange, one that's blue, oh. and one that's red. The so green. green Green is like a combination of blue and yellow, so I did those. Oh, hey. Like, can I go down in this water? You did, it worked. I felt, like, compelled to jump across this, but then wanted to know what happened if I just went in the water. Are there any extra lives back here in this corner? <laughs> so now I'm at a big gate. It's got, like, two white runes in it, and there's a... Oh, Okay. But that closed that. Can I just pull it again? Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm in another big room with a bunch of different ways to go and like a compass on the floor. And it says, bring down the guiding light. Anything new for you? Well, you said something about there being a bunch of different ways to go. I've got all these books that I can pick up that say like, before one starts in the east, take one step westward, then start by taking two steps north. I've got several books like that, but they all have different like rune sets on the front. I think they're different rune sets. I don't yeah, see they're any different rune sets in here. Okay, this then it must not be that. Like a maze. Do you have a map or something, maybe? It's a map on this table. It appears just to be something I can just look at, though. Got a switch. It looks very phallic. Yeah, I've got a is it door white? that I can't Mine go through. Is white. Yeah. Like with a white tip. Oh, I think the light that I or the the switch that I just hit turned on the projector. I don't remember this being here before. Look at this. Ooh, my. I went to go get the film canister, and my map is lit up now. Oh, cool. Does it tell you where I should be going? I don't want to get lost, because I will. Uh, well, I mean, there's like rooms and different colors written on the map. <clears throat> um, I'll go left. When you go left, like, okay, so uh, I, I'm guessing if this is oriented or orientated the same way I'm facing, like when I came into the room, you walk up and then you can go left and right. Okay. Is, does that sound correct so far? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. So then I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I'm looking at what you're looking at. If right. you go on, if you... on on the map, I'm looking at left at the first available junction leads to stairs, and then maybe a room with barrels and like a bench. Yep. Something. There's... Okay. Yeah. I, that's a, okay. So that's got to be a map of this. Can you then okay. go north from that direction? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then go down a hallway going north. And then there There'll are be like a blind stairs. staircase to the left. Uh, yep, that leads to nothing. Okay. That goes to a blue door. If I take a right, it takes me to a blue door. Hold on. My map yeah, just I'm went out. Door. Hold on. My map just went out. I'm going to see if this switch is what did it. Went out? Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah. you hit the thing, and then and then stuff happened to your map. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I have verified that that's what happened to my map. Okay. All right. So yeah. So, yeah. You, so it's okay. An I think. blue door. Go back. Go back to where it was white. I see something that I want to investigate. Okay. Just be mindful. I can't sprint, so it may take a second. Uh, it didn't. I am back at the white thing. Progress past the door you started in and take your first mm -hmm. available right after that. There's an X on the map. So like there. from the entrance, go right and then take another right? Yeah. Okay, that leads me down some stairs with a blue um, phallic thing. <laughs> cool, uh, pull, it. pull it. It's the same as the white one. So do you think that opened the blue door? That's what I'm hoping. <clears throat> I will investigate. Again, may take a second. My guy's a little slow. I think he's portly, just like me. He's a chubster. I bet people called him butter tits in high school. Probably. They didn't call me that. Not me. Yes, I can confirm it did open that blue door. Um, so progress this way or go the other sure. way? Sure. Okay, Keep so progressing. I'm passing the blue the, door the, right the, the exit is all the way to the north. Okay, I found a green lever. Um, like a there's there's room. there's a there's a green door just beyond it, so I would it's try. It's open. Okay, then pro progress past it and take your first available left. There should be a red there's door. A it's cl it is closed. So is there a red lever somewhere? Yes, but my map just went dark. So hold on. 
I will wait patiently. I'll explore a little bit, so I guess it won't be that patient. There's All a right, kitty I'm pet. back. All right, I'm back at the red door. Guide me, Sensei. Um, go down the hall past it and see if you can turn right through an open door. Oh, if that right. one's closed, then this one should be red. It's also red. Uh, yes, it is open. Okay, progress down those stairs and then take a right. Okay. And then a left. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, I just thought of something. Actually, I want to experiment with something. Okay. Go. Uh... For clarity's you should, sake, I am you now should be, at a closed green door. Okay, that's where I was just saying uh, about. Take a right. Uh huh. Like it fr front take, right if you're facing the door, and take those stairs. You should. Right. I'm imagining you're going to find a closed blue door. You are 100 percent correct. Okay, backtrack all the way to the red door that was closed by passing through the red door that was open. Let me know when you're gotcha. there. Gotcha. All right. I'm. I'm a hoofing it. <laughs> Because the map doesn't show what door is open when, it just shows like their potential states. So gotcha. if this one, I imagine that this switch closed one gate but opened another, and vice versa. So I actually have to right. lead you to a different area now, because I okay, feed a red I'm switch. I'm back at the closed red door, which I assume is the exit. It looks like the exit. Okay, pass through the open like... green door. All right. Take a I'm left through, through the open blue door that l lies to the other end of that room. <sighs> okay, I made it through. Go all the way back to the white door, and I'm going to reset the map. All right. Like, the I'm hitbox for this switch is weird. Door. There it is. Yeah, the switches are kind of hard to, to hit. All right, and, and I go past... sip of me sodi pop. I'll do the same. Then go past the white door um, to the switch, the blue switch. With the, okay. So the blue switch is now back in its original position, closing that e first blue door. Exit the blue switch room, but go right instead of left. Okay. Progress um, until you encounter a open blue gate. Whoa. Whoa, I just saw something. It was like a person. And it was just for a second out of the corner of my eye, but he ran down the hallway. Uh-oh. Uh, Be careful, Mitchell. I don't have any weapons. <sighs> Crap, what was my call sign? Condor. M Mama Condor, Condor to baby, baby bird. Baby bird. Mama Condor to Baby Bird, I've spotted a hostile. Over. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> All right, I'm going through a blue door, hoping not to die. Hang on, I'm going slow. Hook around the Dad. corner. There should be steps just see. beyond it. Uh-huh, I took them. Um, is there a door, a green door to the right, far right of that room? Uh, yes, it is closed. Okay, so let me see, let me see, let me see. If that's closed, then the other one's going to be open. And the, Okay, go to the opposite. The opposite of that door is going to have like a hallway. Right. That when you go down it, it hooks to the right. Uh-huh, I'm hooking now. Okay, and I don't go any further than that because I'm resetting the map. Gotcha. I'm at an impasse where I can take an open red door on my left or proceed open, down the hallway. Open red door on your left, please. All right, I'm tucking it. And then it hooks Oh wait, this a, uh, this doesn't this doesn't make sense cuz if you go in here and hit that switch to open that green door, it's going to seal you off this way and then this is closed, you can't get out. Backtrack to the green door. Uh, okay. The closed one, right? Yep. Okay, I'm at it. Backtrack all the way from that point through the open blue door to the blue switch room. I think it was this way. This is all really samey. Yeah, okay, there's the blue door. This all looks really similar. If I'm you really progress past you have a map. If you progress past the open blue door, you should have a set of steps eventually off to your left that lead to the blue switch room. Right. Yeah, I'm there. Oh, throw the blue switch. Okay. 
pass by the white entrance by going left out of the blue room. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm kind of familiar with this little entryway, at least. Hopefully. Yeah, and then, then go to um, the, the now open blue door the other way. Oh, and we need to hit that other green switch that I ran yeah. into earlier. Gotcha. Yep. Pretty sure that was this way. All right, I'm going through the blue door now. And I see that green switchums, which is interesting because when you pull that green switch, it stops any more progression this way, which would immediately make you think, oh, well, I'm not supposed to do that. But knowing about yep. the other green door. Yep. So once you've so hit I'm the green back switch, back, have you hit the green switch? Yeah, I'm backtracking to the entrance and then I'm going to let you give me directions again. Go, go all the way to the blue switch room again and throw the blue switch again. So, okay. Watch out for the man that runs down the hall. I, I hope it was a man. All right, I hit the blue switch again. Now go right out of the blue switch room and progress uh -huh. until you get to a now open blue door. Or, I'm sorry, green gotcha. door. So I'm passing an open blue door and continuing. And I think the green door, yep, it is now open. Take it. Yep, there should be a red switch in that room. I see it. Which is gonna make this close. So when you, let me know when you've thrown the red switch. I have and I'm back at the open green door. <laughs> okay, go back to the open blue door the way you came. Okay, bear with me. I'm a walking, I'm a walking. I'm a little flat footed too, so, you know, I'm just slapping down this hallway. All right, I'm at blop, the blue blop, door. Blop, blop, blop. Go back yep. to the blue, blue switch room. Okay, all the way back at the beginning. Yarp. Gotcha, I'm working on it, working on it. Watching out for, there's also a picture of a dog who has a candlestick for a head. For some reason, you saying working on it, working on it. The way you said it made me think of walking the mile, walking the mile, getting right <laughs> with Jesus. <laughs> All right, so I've pulled the blue switch now. Left out of the blue switch oh. room. Oh, I get it now. Because now we'll we'll throw that green switch again. It'll be open, and then the red door will be open for me to leave. Yes. Gotcha. I'm a little slow on the upkeep. That's why I'm the explorer, and Caleb is the librarian. Yes, Wasn't that I'm the title? librarian. That's Yes, according to the loading screen. I got a thing for librarians. My wife's a librarian. IRL. That's true. She, she is an actual librarian. Glasses, and she shushes me in the bedroom. Yeah. All right, that red my, my, my wife also has sissy glasses. Ooh, checkpoint reached. I didn't notice it saying that before, but it does now. Yeah, I didn't either. My wife also has sissy glasses, but she doesn't have... Um, as deep of an understanding of the Dewey Decimal System, so... Obviously. Uh, okay, so now I'm in a giant room with a whole bunch of chess pieces. Uh, looks to be something else. I appear to be freezing. We may be timed on this one, too. Where did I see something? I saw something said chess earlier. Is it one of these books? Uh, okay, so I, I have what appears to be a generator. Ah, right here. World's greatest chess moves on a video. Like a, like a, oh, yep. Projector, okay. film, go, so crank. I'm doing, like a, I'm doing like a quick time puzzle to start a generator. Maybe you I need started. to... It's good. It started. I don't know why, it's, but I started. It's it. not. It's not letting me crank my film projector. Does it need film? Maybe. I put the film in it. Now I just need to crank it. I think. Maybe your generator controls this. My generator is on. Oh, I can move these chess pieces. Does this switch perhaps need to be in a down position? Oh, I'm freezing. Don't I'm freeze, losing, buddy. I'm losing visual okay. fidelity. I know it's not really your responsibility to keep track of my stuff at my end, but I picked up a, a reel of film that said world's um, greatest chess moves. I put it on a projector 
right? Uh huh. Um, it auto snapped it onto the projector. Oh no, it didn't. It disappeared out of my hand, and I thought it snapped onto it. It just went back to its original position. I don't understand why. Glitch? I mean, this is a now. Free I've got game. it. Now I've got it. Now I've got it. All right. Well, I am rapidly freezing. Okay. It's good they gave us a checkpoint because we might die here, or I might. Now, how do I turn the projector on? Play, damn movie? movie, play! Yeah, I did the crank already, now I did the button. Okay. Okay, white pawn to, um... Uh... Which white pawn? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, if you're, if you're facing, like, from the white player's side, right? Like, from his so perspective? It'd, yeah, it'd be one, two, three, four, five from the left. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, one and space or two spaces? I don't know. I'm recranking the film. Oh, I'm definitely going to freeze to death. <laughs> I have maybe like 15% of my screen that I can see. Well, um, maybe more like 40, but still. Two. It's two spaces in. Okay. I did that. Now, now the black turn. Black pawn um, that's directly opposite that into that one. Like also forward two spaces so that they're face to face face to face okay all right i did it okay now you know i don't really play chess you know the um the I chess do. piece you know the chess piece that only moves diagonally bishop um there's two of them the on the the white side the rightmost one uh-huh how many spaces yep it moves ang angular left, I think three, but I'm watching the video again. One, two, three. I think it's left diagonal three times. Yes, it is. Okay, I got it. Okay. And then the second to rightmost pawn on the black side, the almost rightmost one, second to rightmost, moves forward right one left. space. If you're the oh, black okay. chess player, if you're the black side uh -huh. chess player, their right-hand side. So, so... Uh, if I'm from the black person, the black uh, chess player's perspective, is yeah, every the every one from right to left, the second to last one. It's the second to rightmost gotcha. one. Gotcha, gotcha. How many spaces? And that moves one or two? moves forward one space. Okay. I now I literally can see ten percent. Uh, it reset them. I must have done something wrong. One, two, three, shit. four. F the fifth, fifth pawn on the white side. Move forward two spaces. Two, three. two spaces. Dead. And then move the ones um, to their face to face. Yeah. And then move the bishop. One, two, three spaces. Yep. So putting him in line with the the white pawn we moved, like beside it. Yes. I mean, but a yes. space over. Okay. Yes. And then. From left to right, in the black uh, player's perspective, it'll be the second one, right? No, it'll Correct. be the second, second to last one, meaning almost the last one, almost the one from, all the way to the right. Almost the one all the way to the right. Okay. Yeah. So one move forward one space. Yeah, well, and then the white. Yeah. That reset it too. Hang on. I don't know why that's resetting them. I must be misunderstanding you somehow, and I'm kind of panicking because I can only see like ten percent of my screen. Well, look, we're we're about at the thirty minute mark. We ought to just take the L, and we'll restart in just I, a minute. I want to try this one real quick. I got a little more left. What? Okay. What okay. unit is that pawn in front of? So. From uh, uh, the, the horse, the knight. Yeah, it'll be the same on either one. I didn't really think about it. Um, all the way to the so right, the right-hand side. If you're if you're the black side player, all the way to your uh, right is a pawn in front of a castle. One, almost before that, the second to last one is all the way is your right-hand knight's pawn. Right. Okay, so that that moves one forward from right one space. Left. From right to left, yes. 
And we're moving him one space. Oh, I froze to death. Okay. Froze to death. <laughs> All right, we'll cut it here and we'll try it again. So Mitchell, no! <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.